Do you use Terp Pearls in your banger? You got one in your E-Rig. You got one in your Slurper. Maybe a little pill setup or something that spins around when you take your hits. Well, I've been using Terp Pearls for a few years now, and they're really great, but I still get a lot of questions on them. Why do you use them? What do they do? Do I need Terp Pearls? That kind of stuff. So I figured I'd make this video to help people understand a little bit more about what's going on with the Terp Pearls. Before I get too deep, don't forget you can buy my shirt on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description. And this conversation came up on my Twitch stream last night, so make sure you follow me on Twitch. I do a smoke sesh after 9 p.m. Eastern, and you might inspire my next video with something you said in chat. Well, I do want to say there's a few different kind of pearls that are pretty common. I've had some really cool glass or borosilicate pearls, something a little more artsy. I've had some cooler ones. I've used quartz. I've also seen other options. There's ruby and sapphire. You can get ceramic or there's silicon carbide. There's a few options for pearls. I do want to say I personally use quartz. I'll put a link in the description to the actual quartz pearls that I bought recently. I do want to try out some ruby and sapphire soon. I just keep forgetting to buy them, but I don't use glass or borosilicate pearls anymore. I've heard from too many glass blowers that that has a lower boiling point and you could end up breathing in boro fumes. So I don't use glass pearls. I typically use quartz pearls and I almost always do cold starts. I don't torch my nail red hot and then wait to dab. I just ease into the temperature or I use an e-rig, which does the same thing. Well, turp pearls help with low temp dabs. Back in the day when we were dabbing, you'd put a big old glob on the nail and it would vaporize in 10 or 15 seconds and the whole thing would be gone. But after years of dabbing, we learned that that's not the best way to do it and you're burning off all the flavor. Well, when you do a low temp dab, your nails obviously at a lower temperature, it takes the wax, it takes the concentrate longer to vaporize. So what a turp pearl does in like the most basic scenario, think of like a puff coat chamber as a cap that makes the air spin, you can put a pearl in there or just think of a quartz banger with a pearl and a vortex cap that makes it spin. What happens when it spins is it pushes the oil around, it helps the oil cover more surface area. It prevents it from all pooling up in the corner of Essentially, if you use a regular bubble cap with no pearls, sometimes all your dab just ends up in one corner, especially if you have like an unlevel banger or something, it might just all shift to one side. When you have a pearl in there spinning around, it spreads the oil all around covering as much surface area as it can. It keeps spreading it. It keeps spinning and spreading it. So if it starts to pool up in one area, it gets moved around and flattened out by the pearl, essentially. You get oil on the pearl, which moves around. That helps you get on the sides and the bottom. And it helps you get a better hit overall because you're vaporizing the oil at a more even rate when you're deep dealing with a lower temperature. If you have it at a hot temperature, it's not going to matter because the dab's going to be gone in just a moment. But at a lower temperature, especially if you have something that retains a lot of heat at a low temperature, you're going to want to move that oil around so you get the best vapor hit. Another thing that I've noticed that turp pearls help with is sometimes, depending on the cap, if you pull hard, you get a sharp burst of air. And sometimes the oil on there, if it's really viscous, will just splash or it'll start riding up the sides of your banger pretty easily. So having a pearl there mitigates that sharp burst of air sometimes. It can help you prevent splashing and help your oil from flying around. You shouldn't be pulling on your rig very hard. You shouldn't be giving it that sharp burst of air. But if you do it on accident or if somebody else is hitting your piece, they're not going to accidentally suck the wax right into the stem like a lot of people do. So it really helps you get a good quality low temp hit. Certain types of pearls can also retain some of that heat from torching your nail. I don't recommend torching your nail with your pearls in it and waiting and putting your dab in there. If you're doing a hot start dab, I recommend putting your pearls in the same time that you put your concentrate in. That way you don't run the risk of getting your pearls too hot. Although some of them can take the heat. So I'm just telling you what I recommend. I typically do cold starts. I have a video on cold starts if you want to learn how to do that. But my nail never really gets too hot. I just basically heat it up to a, about the right temperature. So I'm not overheating my pearls. I'm not overheating my nail. So I use a lot of turp pearls. There's one in my puff co. I typically use one or two in my banger. It depends on the size. There's different size of turp pearls. If you have a smaller banger, you're going to want smaller ones. If you have a larger banger, you might want larger ones. Some people find preference. Some people like one big one. Some people like two smaller ones in their banger. They're really cheap. You just kind of got to test it out. But I do recommend quartz pearls. I'll put a link in the description to the actual quartz pearls that I bought recently. I got like a bunch of them. So every time I lose them, which is very often, I just have a fresh new one ready to go. I recommend you just buy a bunch of quartz ones rather than going to the head shop and spending 20 bucks on two shitty little glass pearls that you probably shouldn't be using anyway. So the same thing applies when you're using like a slurper. Some of those have either a pearl setup or you may have seen pills or screws. I've seen noodle shaped glass that helps move the oil and spread it around so it covers more surface area. If your oil is nice and even spread out all over your banger when your banger's hot, you're going to get it all to vaporize at once instead of it pooling up in the corner and only vaping off some at a time. So if you haven't tried turp pearls, you might be missing out. They're 
relatively cheap. But if you're not doing low temp dabs right now, you're already missing out. You should switch to low temp dabs, try perp pearls, try cold starts. There's a lot of stuff you could do to improve your dabs. I appreciate you watching. And if you want to see my video on the best way to dab, check this out. You just might be one video away from the best dabs of your life. Who knows? Peace out, my dudes.